life. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Obscurity. This game was published by Zitzlon and it's developed by Game Dynasty. Now, I know by this point, you guys probably hear Zitzlon, you guys think you're in for an easy completion, but the two latest releases by Zitzlon are actually fairly challenging. You actually have to complete both games. And in this one, I'm going to be guiding you guys through the full game and getting all of the achievements. Overall, it's going to take about 40 minutes or so to get the full 1000G as long as you're following along. On top of that, it's only $4.99. Again, this one's a little more complicated, so without a guide, this is probably going to take you about two hours, maybe two and a half hours. But with a guide, you can cut it down to about 40, 45 minutes. I personally played through this game four different times in effort to make the quickest guide for you guys. And when I first got sent a code for this game, there was no guides online. So as far as I know, this is the first video guide up for obscurity and I also got to point out that they are releasing a Windows 10 stack for this game it also releases the same day and you'll be able to double it up for 2000 G if you're able to complete the game twice but just keep in mind you would need to purchase the game two times as well for a total of nine dollars and 99 cents now those that are familiar with Zitzlon know that typically they add 1000 gamer score updates every six months now so I would expect some additional gamer score for the game in the future if they happen to add any additional updates I'll go ahead and cover those in a separate video but for now this is going to guide you through the base 1000 gamer score in the Xbox and the Windows 10 version now we have two different characters or two different sides of our character that we can choose from one has this mask on and one is just a girl however we want to stick with this guy right here because as of right now the girl doesn't have any type of attacks yet until we upgrade her later in the game now some enemies are going to chase you some enemies are going to shoot projectiles if they're shooting projectiles you can actually hit the projectiles back at them by swinging your staff this right here is a save point make sure that you walk into the save points and interact with them to make sure that you save your game and get yourself a checkpoint so as you can see we have two enemy types uh, here in this first level I wouldn't consider that purple one right there enemy type you actually can't kill those those are more like obstacles in the level so don't waste your time trying to kill those we more so just want to focus on the flying enemies they're always flying towards you so while you're hitting them you kind of want to be backing up at the same time that's kind of the strategy I use for the enemies that are flying towards you so kind of just backpedal a little bit and you know uh, swing your staff and eventually you'll kill those flying enemies other than that, you do have those black enemies that shoot the projectiles. Your best bet with those are to make sure that you time your swing and hit the projectiles back at them. Now, in some instances, we'll have a pathway blocked by a pink barrier, and we'll need to uh, do this little mini game right here. And basically, you just need to stop it on the same symbol as it shows in the middle and it's really just as simple as that now luckily we do have a map on the lower right hand corner of our screen so if at any point you're trying to follow along with where i'm going or see where i'm going you can match up our maps together and just make sure that you're following along now the game has these secret levels or secret portals and we need to find and close all four of them so what you want to do is you want to walk over that symbol interact with it and that's going to open up the first portal now ultimately our goal here is not only to complete the game but to find and close all four portals as long as we do these things we'll have an easy 1000 gamer score so basically what we want to do here is just make our way to the end of the map as you can see the map is on the lower right hand corner it's fairly straightforward on where we need to go any type of side paths or dead ends that you see in the map are typically areas where you can save the game or an area where a portal is located we're already in a portal so we don't need to look out for any other ones obviously but we do want to look out for any save spots that way it can make it a little bit easier in terms of making our way through this side level because you always want to look for a save spot just in case you die because this game is actually a little challenging and it's a little bit skill dependent it really helps if you know where to go and you know how the game works my biggest advice in terms of combat would be to make sure that you're backing up when the enemies are trying to like press forward against you and for the enemies that are shooting projectiles just make sure that you're timing your swing to shoot back the projectiles other than that you want to keep an eye out for these boxes like this if you find a box like that with a pink symbol on it you can break it open and it's going to recharge your health it doesn't replenish your whole health bar or anything like that but i think two out of the five blocks so you want to make sure you keep an eye out for those boxes so that you can kind of, you know, replenish your health. We have another one of those mini games right here. Again, just match the symbol that's in the middle. It's really just about timing. There we go. We made our way through that pink barrier. 
as you can see once i have those enemies flying at me i start backpedaling i start moving backward because again you don't want to press forward against the enemy because they're press forwarding against you and you know i don't even know if that was a word press forwarding <laughs> they're moving towards you and you don't want to move towards them otherwise you're going to take damage so just try to backpedal and hit them at the same time that way you know you're dealing damage while not getting hit you also want to keep an eye out for these nests if you're wondering why these wasps keep respawning it's because they have nests and you need to destroy the nests otherwise they're going to keep respawning anyhow that's the end of the first side level or first portal go ahead and interact with it and we're going to unlock our next achievement for closing our first portal other than that we're just going to proceed and finish the first level we're just going to continue on to the right hand side now I want to point out that if you die you won't have to uh, redo that portal or anything like that it will just start you back off uh, basically when you close that portal it's like a secret checkpoint almost there's some auto save checkpoints and that happens uh, after you close a portal anyhow just head over here once you get right here it's going to be a little cutscene with some dialogue and then that level is going to end and next we're going to end up in this town center and what we want to do is head over here don't worry about any enemies there's no enemies in this little town just a bunch of NPCs to talk to so just head down here it's actually highlighted on our map with the little uh, red circle that's where we need to head we need to talk to this uh, salesman right here so talk to the salesman you know walk over here and then it's going to highlight this uh, like notification board so interact with that and then just run all the way up here we're gonna find another NPC talk to the guard after you talk to the guard we need to head over here to the upper right hand corner of the town just follow this path you actually don't need to talk to that guy right there all right so just enter through that big gate and we're on to the next level this is also going to trigger your next achievement called let's hit the road worth 100 gamer score for getting into the dark forest now as you can see the map on the lower right hand corner is a little more complicated than the previous map so just make sure you're following along with where i'm going now you can choose to avoid enemies or you can choose to try to kill them it's totally up to you uh, personally i kind of do a mix of both i try to you know kill basically whoever's trying to hurt me and that's about it other than that just try to sprint your way through the level if you can um, the main thing is you just want to try to get from checkpoint to checkpoint I mean you can technically just run to the next checkpoint and save it and not kill any enemies the level or the game doesn't require you to kill all of the enemies to beat the level or anything like that a matter of fact the only achievement that we have related to killing any type of enemy is for killing the boss of the whole game so there's really no achievements tied to killing any of these miscellaneous enemies that we're dealing with so you can try to kind of speed run it and run through the enemies if you can but i can tell you right now this strategy isn't as easy as it sounds you kind of need to do a mixture of both defending yourself but also trying to sprint through to each save point i also want to point out that typically next to these save points you have these pillars where you can spend money or what i think are souls to basically recharge your health so just know that next to every one of these save points you have a area where you can spend the souls that you're getting from the enemies to uh, basically replenish or recharge your HP so just know that if you're running low on health you can go ahead and recharge it next to any save point aside from that you have those random boxes or crates with the pink symbols where you can also recharge your health as long as you know those two things it really helps in terms of progressing through the game and not dying as much now you see this pink circle right here with all of the pink things coming out of it uh, basically these are areas where we're going to have to survive hordes of enemies or waves of enemies and to start this what we're going to need to do is interact and press a in the middle of it and we'll start wave one we're going to need to basically get through all the waves for that pink barrier to disappear and as you can see i just defeated all the waves and now i was able to proceed through that barrier and we have a checkpoint right on the other side of it and don't miss this portal right here this is where the second portal is located at go ahead and interact with it and we're going to enter the second portal and this side level or portal is fairly simple as you can see the map you know is straightforward all we got to do is make our way to the end of it so just go ahead and proceed through the map and continue to kill all of the enemies or at least the ones that are bothering you now luckily over time we are going to get some upgrades in terms of attacking and things like that um, which are going to help us you know defeat the enemies a lot easier and then eventually even our other character the girl will get some uh attack power uh, basically she ends up getting the power to 
uh, shoot some sort of projectile which can really help because you can lock on top of the enemies and just shoot them uh, later on in the game but for now we got to use this guy and basically do hand-to-hand -hand combat with this staff now make sure you destroy that nest otherwise uh, those wasps are just going to keep respawning you have a life crate right there destroy that caterpillar I think it's a caterpillar it shoots uh, some projectiles at you you can either just go up to it and start hitting it or you can shoot the projectiles back at its face we had another life crate right there we actually have a lot of enemies here so just make sure that you know you're back uh, pedaling like I said earlier that's the best strategy in terms of uh, not dying make sure you save your game and recharge your life right there try to shoot the projectiles back at that enemy oh great we have another wasp nest up here so make sure that you destroy that otherwise all of those wasps may get kind of overwhelming Again, it's all about timing here. This definitely isn't just a game where you can go in and button mash your way through the whole thing. You gotta actually pay attention a little bit. This is not as easy as the other Zitalon games for sure. But as long as you know where you're going and you know how to play the game and how the game works, it's fairly easy to complete. It's just one of those ones where you kinda need to know what you're getting yourself into. Because the first time I played this game, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty intimidated going into it. But after playing it four times, I totally understood what's going on here. Aside from that, guys, we just got to continue to make our way through this long, long pathway to the very end. Again, you don't need to kill every enemy, but it definitely helps. Let's see. All right, great. I'm down to one life bar. Got to be smart. I'm trying to get rid of this nest. They keep freaking spawning. The reason I'm going down here is because there's a life crate down here, guys. All right, there we go. All right, so now I'm back to three life blocks. So I can get hit three times now. All right, there we go. Down to two life blocks. But we have another life crate right here. Make sure you break that one open. And again, you cannot kill those purple enemies right there. So just try to dodge them, stay out of their way. Great, I'm down to one life block again. We have another life crate up here. See, the game is fairly generous in terms of, you know, giving you the life crates and things like that. Opportunities to basically recharge your health. Again, there's two ways to recharge your health, guys. The life crates, or I think you can sacrifice the souls or whatever they call the in-game currency right here at this pillar next to the save spot to recharge your health. So you just know every time you save your game, go ahead and spend some of that uh, in-game currency. I want to say it's souls because I think you collect them after you uh, kill enemies. But yeah, you can spend them up there to uh, basically recharge your life. If you want to see how many you have, they're on the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Like right now I have like 4,200 or so. All right, we are nearly at the end of this portal. And then after, we'll interact with it and we'll close the second portal, unlocking our next achievement. And we're basically halfway there. Well, at least in terms of portals. Let's see here. All right, so we have another one of these mini games. Again, all you got to do is stop it on the symbol that's in the middle. That will open that barrier. And all we got to do is head up, and the exit should be right up here. Before, I'm going to go ahead and save it, recharge health. And I'm going to use this crate. All right, so we're actually going to have a little boss battle here. Um, there's no achievement related to the boss specifically, but we will unlock an achievement after closing this portal. Now, this boss is fairly simple. All we got to do is just move around and don't stand over those spots that are highlighted. Those are basically her attacks. And then eventually she's going to stop doing that and she's going to start shooting these projectiles at you. And all you have to do is time them and hit them back at her. We're going to rinse and repeat this process until we totally defeated her and depleted her life bar. So as you can see, she's about 50% gone right now. But she's doing those floor attacks again. So I basically just go right to left, left to right dodging those attacks again don't stand over the highlighted tiles once she starts shooting projectiles at you again just make sure you time it right and hit them back at her and again just rinse and repeat that process we've nearly killed her she has one more life bar left so we need to basically hit one of those projectiles back at her and she will be defeated all right let's see there we go all right so we went ahead and defeated that boss 
and we also got a new ability. Now we can hold right trigger to strike with our shield. You can only do this when you're the uh, character with the mask right there. All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and interact with that symbol, exit the portal. It's going to close the portal, and we're going to unlock our next achievement called Portal Closed for closing the second portal. After that, save your game and proceed to the right-hand side. We're just going to continue down here, killing any enemies that bother us. Again, in this video, I'm trying to show you where a lot of the life crates are at so that, you know, if you're having trouble or if you're almost dead, you guys know where you guys can get a little extra life at. For instance, we have one right here. And just continue on to the right. We're going to end up in a little town right here. We don't need to talk to anybody. However, there is a save spot and a area to recharge our life right there. So maybe just interact with both of those. Now I got a full life bar. And we're just going to head up here. And eventually it's going to force us left. And we're going to start heading over to the left. Alright, we have a few of these enemies right here. Now, right here we have a missable achievement, guys. And that is for interacting with this dragon skull up here. There's an achievement for finding the dragon. And if you don't interact with this, you'll totally skip it and miss this achievement. So make sure that you interact with that dragon skull right there. That will unlock the It Was Long Ago achievement worth 100 gamer score for finding the dragon's head. After that, we're going to have another one of these areas where we're going to have to interact with it and survive through the different waves. So once you're ready, press A. It's going to start wave one and just start killing all of the enemies until you have basically uh, went through all of the different waves. And then that pink barrier at the bottom should go ahead and disappear. All right, and that should be our final enemy right there. There we go, the pink wall disappeared, so we can go ahead and proceed. So just head down here, kill any enemies that are bothering you, and just continue on to the left-hand side. And up here, we're going to have our next save point. You can also recharge your HP right there with that pillar. And we're going to go ahead and proceed. So continue to the left, and then we're going to have to start heading upwards. However, I believe we have a life crate down here at the bottom. If you need some life, you can head down here and break open this crate. Get some extra HP. I didn't need any, but I like showing you guys where these crates are just in case you guys need them. Again, just take your time. You don't want to spam the attack button. That's not the way that you're going to be able to get yourself through this game. You need to kind of pay attention and time your swings. All right, and just continue to head up here. Okay, so we're going to have another one of these mini games where we need to time it and stop it on the correct symbol. So just do that. And then eventually you're going to unlock it, and we can go ahead and proceed upwards. Go ahead and interact with that. Save your game. Charge your life up. And then go ahead and uh, go up here. Next, we're going to end up in another boss battle. Luckily, once we defeat this boss, we'll get another power. Now, the strategy for this boss, first and foremost, is you want to go ahead and attack each of these uh, flames. Once you turn off all five flames, the boss will become vulnerable. Aside from that, we're basically going to end up in a like bullet hell style stage. You need to wait until that's over. Killing any extra enemies or wasps along the way because he will spawn those wasps. Now what you want to do is just wait for him to basically stop doing this spinning attack and then you can go ahead, get close, and start attacking him for a little bit. He does the spinning attack, then he does the bullet hell attack, and then he's vulnerable. We're basically going to rinse and repeat this until we're able to deplete his whole life bar. So again, after the bullet hell attack, go ahead and attack him while he's vulnerable. He is going to be spawning wasps on you, and once he starts that spinning attack again, you need to just back up and get out of the way. And eventually he is going to stop doing that. He does the bullet hell attack again. You can even hide behind here where the torch is located at. They kind of protect you from the bullet hell uh, bullets. Go back, attack them while they're vulnerable. Get the wasp out of the way. And there we go. So we went ahead and defeated the next boss. That's going to give us our next power. Just go ahead and pick it up. And moving forward we'll be able to dash with the X button. 
the dash is really cool because we can make our way through levels a lot faster and you know make it through groups of enemies without getting hurt things like that and I think you don't take damage while you're dashing for like half a second or so so if you're constantly dashing it's really hard to take any damage unless they time their attack like perfectly so go back down here and now we have the dash attack as you can see we can dash with X now so go ahead and save your game and we're basically just going to try to dash our way out of here now we can dash over uh, gaps for instance we were able to dash over that water and basically take a shortcut to basically the beginning of the level or fairly close to the beginning so go ahead and save your game right there and just keep dashing all the way through and now we have enough of these crystals to open this door so go ahead and interact with that and we can move on to the next level and as you can imagine we should be unlocking our next achievement this one's called it's so dark here for getting into the catacombs worth another 100 gamer score aside from that first thing you want to do is save your game because the next portion of this level can be a bit challenging what you want to do is make sure you use your dash in an effort to get across right here go ahead and save your game right here we're gonna to have to dash through here again save your game again and then here you want to make sure you activate these pillars in this exact order top left bottom left middle top right lower right after that it'll open that door and we can go ahead and proceed over here again just make sure you're following along with where i'm going on the map and we're just going to head up here the enemies are getting a little bit stronger but also you know we're getting stronger we have more abilities we have the shield attack we have the dash attack well it's not an attack yet but spoiler alert after we defeat the next boss our dash will actually deal damage but for now it's just a dash it basically just you know gets us through the level faster but also kind of gives us like uh, invincibility for a brief second go ahead and save your game recharge your life now you need to uh, match these icons with the ones on the flag so just match up the three of them with the flags above them that's going to open up that pink barrier and we can go ahead and proceed as you can see we have to go through another survival portion so activate that and go ahead and kill all of the enemies in the next few waves and after we complete the last wave that pink barrier or pink wall above us will disappear and we can go ahead and proceed with the level These guys right here specifically are probably the most challenging enemies that I encountered. You basically just gotta wait until they make a crazy noise and try to dash at you and then hit them a few times, rinse and repeat that until the enemy is defeated. Now the pink barrier disappeared, we can go ahead and move up here. As you can see we need three crystals to be able to get through that door and go ahead and interact with this portal right here and that's going to open up the third portal. Alright, so if we take a look at the map on the lower right hand corner, it's fairly simple. All we got to do is make our way to the end of this dungeon. So go ahead and dash your way through this area from platform to platform, dodging those purple obstacles. I don't like to call them enemies because uh, you can't attack them or defeat them. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and proceed up here. We have another area where we can recharge our life and save our game. So now we have a checkpoint right there and moving forward now that we have this dash I'm gonna go ahead and try to dash through a lot of these enemies so just you know try to watch the footage see where I'm dashing and see where the checkpoints are and we're gonna try to dash our way from checkpoint to checkpoint the only times we're really gonna try to defeat any enemies is if they're really bothering us for instance that guy right there because I needed to press uh, or interact with this little mini game and the enemies can't attack you while you're playing this so I had to get rid of that guy otherwise he would be dealing me damage while I was trying to solve that mini game we have another one of those guys right here but we're just gonna go ahead and skip forward continue to dash all the way up and we have our next checkpoint right here so save your game recharge your life if you need to and we're going to go ahead and make a break for it 
just continue to dash all the way over here. If for some reason you're not having success dashing through all these enemies, you could try to kill them one by one and make your way through, but personally I think it's a lot easier and faster to just try to dash a few times until you get it right. So dash all the way over here, save your game, recharge your life once again, and then dash up here and we're going to end up in our next boss battle. Now this one's fairly simple. Uh, basically he has these orbs that rotate around him sometimes they're close to him and then after a few seconds they'll end up far away from him when these orbs start rotating farther and farther away from him you want to basically get up close and start hitting him with your staff we're going to rinse and repeat this method until he is defeated And all right, there we go. We went ahead and defeated that boss and we can pick up our next ability. So just interact with that. And moving forward, we can go ahead and deal damage to enemies every time we dash. It's called the blink ability. So if you press X and you dash over enemy, not only is it going to dash, but it's going to deal damage to that enemy. After you close the portal, you're going to unlock the portal close three achievement worth another 100 gamer score for closing the third portal. As you can see, now we have two of the three crystals that we need. Go ahead and save your game and proceed to the right. We have another save spot right here. The reason that they had two save spots so close is just because it's real easy to die after this one. So just pay attention to where I go and where I stop. Be a little patient and then eventually you're going to make your way through. And you can end up in this room with some more enemies. But first things first, we need to find another save spot so that we don't lose our progress and have to get our way through those spikes again so go over here and save your game recharge your life and we can go ahead and proceed down here now i'm going to dash through all of this and we're going to end up in this other room where we have another uh, like survival area where you're going to interact with it and have to survive through all of the different waves so just uh, go ahead and start that up know that there is a crate on the upper center screen and also one on the right hand side that both can give you some extra life if you're running low now, one thing I want to remind you guys of is that now you have that blink or dash attack ability. So you can really just spam your dash attack and you can kill a lot of these enemies moving forward. So if you're having any trouble with any of these uh, enemies, for instance, these uh, black characters with the knives, you can go ahead and just try to dash through them. And sometimes that's a little bit better, especially when you have a bunch on the screen and it gets a little more overwhelming. So don't forget to use that dash attack now because it does deal damage to enemies and at the same time you're kind of dodging a bunch of attacks so um, if you're having trouble with any of these areas just try to practice spamming the dash all right so we just about defeated that last wave there we go the pink wall is gone and we can go ahead and proceed down here we're gonna have another save spot and we can continue on to the right now we're going to have our next uh, boss battle right here so just make sure that you basically dash from platform to platform trying to attack the eyeball um, eventually it's going to introduce these lasers you're going to have to dodge the lasers at the same time you can definitely dash through them so really you just need to practice uh, dash attack dash attack also trying to be on the platform closest to the eye this may take one or two tries luckily if you die you just start right at the beginning of this boss battle so just try to practice what i'm practicing here and just dash uh, basically from platform to platform every time that you have a laser uh, coming up to you and as simple as that after you defeated this boss we're going to unlock our next ability so just go over here interact with that and now the girl has uh, basically an attack so now she can shoot this projectile attack so now we just don't need to use the dude with the mask we can actually use our second character now if you hold down right trigger it's actually going to charge it up and you can destroy walls like that just make sure that you're locking on you want to hold LB uh, to lock on and then uh, shoot your projectiles it makes for a pretty good way to kill a lot of these enemies Maybe not as good as just dashing your way through the whole game though, but at least we have another option in terms of attacking. So just make your way back over here, 
I'm just showing you guys, you know, that you guys can use this character now and her projectiles and things like that. But ultimately, I think I do prefer this guy. So I guess we'll see. It's totally up to you. But you want to walk up here, interact with this, and complete this mini game to open up this side path. And this is basically going to shortcut us back uh, to an earlier part of the level, closer to where we have that gate. Because we have those three crystals now. And now we can open up that gate to go ahead and finish up this level. All right, there we go. And go ahead and proceed over here to the left. We've already killed most of these enemies. We're going to have to activate that and get through a couple more waves though. Just know that you have a life crate right here. Now you can either uh, use the guy with the mask and just try to dash your way through all of these enemies. Or you can select her, try to lock on and just shoot the projectiles from a distance. Both methods work pretty well. If one's not working for you, maybe try the other. But just know you can't attack with her now. Ultimately, I ended up deciding to just go back to the dash method. Especially with these guys with the knives. They're kind of annoying. And so I'm just going to go ahead and keep dashing through all of these enemies. I found that personally this was the best strat for me. All right, and after you've defeated uh, that last wave or the last enemy, we can go ahead and proceed. Run up here, take a left, and we, here we have the door where we can use the three crystals. I think they're crystals. I'm not too sure what they are, honestly. Anyhow, use those, open the door, and we're gonna go ahead and proceed. This is going to push us back to the town, and we wanna go over to the red dot. It's on the upper left-hand corner of the town. So just follow the map and go to the red dot. And this is going to take us to the fourth and final level of the game. Just walk through there. Your next achievement or trophy should pop. It's called Red Shine, worth 100 gamer score. We're getting into the Crystal Forest. All right, so just follow along with where I'm going on this map. We're gonna start off by going up all the way and then start heading over to the left once you get to the top. Make sure that you uh, use that save slot right there and go ahead and start up the survival mode or survival game and start defeating all of the enemies in the different waves. Again, I found that the best strategy was to just spam the dash attack now that the dash deals damage and basically just dash through all the enemies until you defeat them. This is really the easiest and safest way to get through this part quickly. All right, there we go. We completed it. It wasn't the prettiest, but we got it done. Now we can go ahead and proceed over here to the left-hand side. Go ahead and skip all those enemies, save your game, get some life, dash back down, and we're going to try to continue to dash through the rest of the level. So just go to the left, start dashing all the way down. Once you get to the bottom, start dashing to the right, and then go up, and you're gonna find another save spot right here, as well as the next portal. So activate the fourth and final portal. And all we have to do is close this one and we'll have all four portal related achievements. So we're gonna start off by heading down into the left. As you can see, the map on this one is fairly simple. All of the portal levels or side levels are really simple in terms of navigating through them, as long as you're looking at the map. So try to dash your way to this area and save your game. At that point, you pretty much have a checkpoint right in the middle of the level. Try to keep dashing your way all the way through here. Almost there. If you die, just retry. We have some life crates right there. But go ahead and save your game. After you save your game, you can go ahead and go to this corner. Hopefully, no enemies continue to follow you over here. 
and just press the right icons or symbols and then the pink wall will disappear we can go ahead and move forward and next we have our second to last boss all we have to do with these guys is basically dash through them. I found this boss to be fairly easy, at least with this dash method. I had actually tried to defeat them without the dash uh, earlier, and I wasn't really able to do it. So uh, I guess this can be kind of hard if you don't know what to do, but if you do know what to do, it's fairly simple. All you gotta do is dash through the uh, two enemies or two bosses, and then eventually they're going to basically spawn enemies on the sides of the level that shoot projectiles at you. In those instances, you want to switch to the girl and shoot the projectiles to kill those enemies. That way, you don't have a bunch of bullets coming at you while you're trying to dash to the enemy. So, anytime those enemies spawn on the side trying to shoot you, make sure you switch to the girl and get rid of them. And then just go back to the dash method. For instance, they spawned those things again and now we have bullets coming at us from the side. So, I need to prioritize changing to the girl and using the projectiles to get rid of those enemies. Aside from that, I'm back to dashing through both bosses. We nearly have their life bar depleted. There we go. All right, perfect. So we went ahead and defeated that boss, and now we can go ahead and close our fourth and final portal. Sweet. At this point, guys, all we need to do is complete the game and we'll have all of our achievements. That is the end is near achievement worth 100 gamer score. All right, after that, we're going to head over here, continue to the right, and we're going to have to activate another uh, survival area. So go ahead and use the dash attack to make your way through all of these different waves. And eventually we'll go ahead and open up that next door. All right, we got that last enemy defeated and the wall should be open. Perfect, let's go ahead and proceed to the right hand side. And we're going to dash all the way up here, save our game, recharge our life. And then we're going to dash down here and just try to get through the end of the level. Just continue to dash all the way down here. And now we should have enough to open up this door. So interact with it and just head up here. Now we're going to end up talking to uh, the final boss and we're going to end up in the final boss battle. Now I want to point out a major issue that I had with this boss battle. I had to start the whole game over again guys because basically my baby boy needed me to you know get up and attend to him and I went ahead and I quit back to the main menu while I was playing this boss battle and that totally glitched out my whole save so my main tip here is don't quit out during this boss battle regardless of what you have to do just pause it uh, because I had to start the whole game over again because it glitched out so uh, other than that I mean this last boss is fairly simple the patterns the attacks are really easy to understand so just make sure that you dodge all of the bullets and continue to fire bullets at him continuously I think you can actually even hold down her attack button and it will keep shooting bullets I don't think you need to keep spamming it um, so just keep shooting the bullets at the boss's head and eventually you're gonna deplete the whole life bar you're gonna defeat him and you're gonna unlock the final achievement called the end worth our final 100 gamer score giving us that full 1000 gamer score out of 1000 gamer score Let's go ahead and verify we got the full 1000G. I'll pop up the guide menu. There we go. I got the full 1000. Hopefully you guys got it as well. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.